Hello and welcome to the What's New in Cabinet Vision Solid version 10 video series. In this video, we'll be looking at all the new CAD features that are available in Cabinet Vision Solid. Cabinet Vision Solid version 10 gives us some new CAD enhancements. The first being the ability to use the F7 key on our keyboard whenever CAD is available. So currently, whenever we can draw CAD in a scene, we can either click the button here on the sidebar, press F7 on our keyboard, or double click in the scene. Any one of those will bring us into CAD now. The next feature involves dimensions. If I draw a dimension anywhere in my scene, and now I grab my line tool or any of my other tools, you'll see that I now have the ability to snap along the dimension line. The next feature has to do with any group section here that is expanded or collapsed. If we have one expanded and another collapsed, that will be remembered in Cabinet Vision. Starting with Cabinet Vision Solid version 10, you will be able to import Autodesk PAT files for CV hatching. To do that, we go to our drawings library, make sure our type is set to hatch patterns. We'll then select any one of the folders that are here. I already have one installed. We'll go ahead and import this again so we can see how it goes. I'll click import, find my .pat file that I downloaded from the internet, and hit open. And now you can see I have the pattern here available to me. When I hit close, I'll go to CAD, use the hatch tool, make sure that my hatch that I imported has been selected, ensure that the scale is proper, and then I will begin drawing my hatch. Cabinet Vision Solid version 10 offers us some new CAD features. I'll click on the CAD button, or on my keyboard I'll press the F7 key to activate CAD. If we go to our leaders, we can see that we have a new item here named Assembly Leader. When I click on that, I can click anywhere on a cabinet, drag out a leader as I normally would, and when I'm done, you'll see it automatically fills it with the name of that assembly. Now, this is from the floor plan view. If we go into this actual cabinet, we'll edit this. We can do the same thing. We can click CAD or press F7 on our keyboard, go to the assembly leaders, and then click anywhere in our cabinet that we want to assign a leader to. Let's say I wanted to have a leader that deals with the back of the drawer box. I can click and now I can select any one of the parts in this view. We'll do drawer box back, we'll draw our line, and then right click to finish it. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the new features of Cabinet Vision Solid version 10. If you would like to learn more, please visit our website at www.cabinetvision.com.